Hi everybody, Sunny Bonani. Welcome to my channel. Kamala Mingonda and Omleja and on this channel says Monday. In what the exit following or limits, this is the best since the last so cool man has only what this was say. See, Fundila said to go a lava pillabang in a scatos by funding what in a lava abandoned our funda. See a pin the footy. As Bugama reality shows it's a lime zan. This is the last so cool man. All my reality shows since my reviews or my recaps. See pin the footy. See, cool man. Any other issues as we a bugil or my bella mashos. See, see what bugil away. Um, we are also showing and I'm trying to really like our content. We are going to press it. Eh, subscribe like this, and see. Um, we are going to be able to show you guys to subscribe. The code of Mali Kreli should also subscribe. Bill, we are going to be able to press the notification bell like to show you guys subscribe. We are going to be able to show you guys to subscribe. We are going to be able to show you guys to subscribe. It's late at night, guys. You know, the whole day you look forward to your kids going to bed. So that you can get some rest. But then when they go to bed, instead of sleeping and getting some rest, what do you do? You start waking. <laughs> I was doing a research in Kenya. It's so picky. I'm a viewers. I'm a bit silly when it comes to Real Housewives of uh, Devon. But I just ended up doing a totally different, <laughs> putting together a totally different uh, video. It's a late night video. So if you need to structure that, guys, you will uh, forgive me. But this is the thing that I was thinking about when it comes to Real Housewives uh, of Devon Season 2. I really was starting to feel like, yes, I'm enjoying the show, but it's missing something. And honestly, I've been saying this in my reviews. With any, I'm missing storylines. I'm, I'm missing... Isn't this so slender when it comes to these wives' lives? That is missing for the show. And I think it is advantage that I have and a lot of other viewers that they have that have watched Amanima franchises, a real housewives, is that since so much of these shows, it's almost like as viewers says the Ayazi formula. And if you say it's a real housewives of, you know, we, we expect the formula to be the same. And when something is different, then uh, it, 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 you can enjoy the show, but you, you just feel like and that's the thing about this season. And for me, it started, it's starting to feel like it's such a waste, and I, I feel so bad because I feel like it's such a waste because they've they've done such a good job at uh, casting, like putting the the ensemble of a cast. Yeah, but it's so good the way that they've chosen these women. It's so good. They've really done a good job there. And I, I feel like the uh, the quality of the production, the camera work, the, the picture quality, their locations, where they shoot, the outfits, the makeup, everything is on point. But we are missing the story when it, the stories when it comes to a real housewives of Devon. And I started to feel like um can't be able to show that I can compare it with when it comes to Ilokuzana. Uh, a Real Housewives of Devon, which other show in Lokuza in South Africa that I can compare it with to see what Mshambe is it a matter of uh, South Africa hasn't done enough reality shows to know uh, the formula Yama, Yama, Yama reality shows and I was uh, uh, um, struggling to find a show and I compare and I, I mean the best show that I could find was a because I was trying to compare with any is it a matter of just in South Africa it's a new genre Emma reality shows so they are still learning even people that are giving us these shows they are still learning or it's just that uh, because it's a South African show they just want to do something different from what they do uh, overseas and the best that I could find honestly guys it was Ilokuzana Utando Nesitembu and I felt like when it comes to the production quality, like the, 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 uh, uh, the, 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 I don't know, the picture quality, the outfits, the makeup, the location and all of that, I would feel like a, 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 a Lokuzani Real Housewives is doing well. I mean, it's a show mix production. It's doing better than Utanumis team. But when it came to uh, uh, creating a storyline that us as viewers can follow, Honestly, I feel like a real housewives of, of Devon can learn something from Utan on his table. Utan on his table, they went as far as fabricating, isn't it? 
so that as viewers every week we will have something that we look forward to. Do you know how long we've been waiting for number five <laughs> But number five number five never came. Do you know how long we've been waiting for uh, to finally be done, Pela, but it never happened. But that was a storyline that we were following. And I almost feel like um Clampe Bafanele and Abeba Bugak Leo show because it's the only show in feeling at it. In Ireland, Olena, that the Real Housewives of Devon is missing that right now. But I ended up going and, and looking at who exactly is producing Ilokuzani Real Housewives of uh, Devon. When I say who's producing it, who are the executive producers? Executive producers, is my understanding, is Abantaba uh, <laughs> It's the people that have the bag, you know, who. Uh, executive producer on a to make the pots, you know, to make the pots. <laughs> so but and the, the executive producers, it's Sam Kelly and Lindy. Is it doing doing? <laughs> I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. But they own a company called Lady Rain Films. Lady Rain Films. So I went and I checked uh, the company Lady Rain uh, Films. And in their website, they actually have uh, some of the videos of the work that they have done. And I was looking to see if they have done AMA reality shows, any type of reality shows, uh, whether in South Africa or outside of South Africa, what reality shows have they done? When I looked at their website, they've done a lot of um, advertisements, uh, especially when it com comes to information. As you know, Lama adverts, um, Outsurance. They've done a lot, a lot for outsurance. They've done a lot of uh, informations for banks, but they also have done uh, TV productions. And the reality show that I saw there was a Survivor, guys, a Survivor. And the video that is there is not the South African version of the Survivor. So I don't know if they mean that they produce uh, a Survivor. They are part of the production near yes, Survivor. Uh, or all of the uh, franchises that Survivor they are involved somehow, but they do have a video there. Listen, Survivor is one of the shows that I would think are difficult to produce honestly because produce direct anything because Survivor they're usually somewhere in the bushes for a long time for a long time. So if you are part of that production, I imagine that you, you actually also have to go and camp La ama lokuzanama contestants are corner so they camp a corner and stay just as long as they stay. Maybe the difference between the production and the cast members is that production has food and water and whatever, and the others have to fend for themselves because that is the concept of the show. So it is a good show. If someone has worked on that show, I would think they have enough experience to produce a reality show. However, the survivor is very different from a real housewives obviously it's very different from a real housewives here it's about you touch a band you are bigger somewhere they have to fend for themselves they have to hunt to eat <laughs> it's wild fruits it's hard to get a man and it's about surviving that situation so it's really different from real housewives of Devon. so but then when it comes to uh, everything else that goes into the production like a uh, the shooting of the show, the directing and all of that, I would think that if anybody has produced a survivor, they would be good for the Real Housewives of uh, Devon. Also, another thing that I saw was, uh, <laughs> what's this show, Gambit, that they uh, do uh, where they travel? Uh, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to remember what that show is. Let me just search for it. Yes, <laughs> I found it. It's Amazing Race. I don't know why I forgot the name. They did the intro of the Amazing Race. When I first saw Amazing Race, I was so excited because that show, <laughs> is, that is another level of TV production because in Amazing Race, like, they, like the cast is at a different city, I think every two days or every three days. Like they travel around the world with the cameras following them, there's uh, camera, camera, uh, cameras, there's uh, like the whole production team basically has to travel with 
the cast members because they are racing in the amazing race. So I think it's one of the very difficult uh, shows to shoot. However, when I when I looked at their profile, it looks like they did not shoot uh, the actual uh, race. They did the intro, you know, the intro where they do almost like an introduction to to advertise the show. That's what they did. But even when you look at that, it's it, it, it's such a good uh, uh, production to watch. Even that uh, short video that they did, I did feel like it's people that are very uh, experienced in TV production. But I'm not seeing anything that is similar to Real Housewives. Actually, Real Housewives uh, of uh, Devon season one was their first Real Housewives. Uh, production or something close to that type of a reality show. So it makes me feel like it's the first time for them as well to do something like Real Housewives of uh, Devon or a Real Housewives franchise. It's the first time that they are involved in the franchise Real Housewives. So it's something that is new to them. And and I also find out that uh, there's also two, there's also one uh, um, producer whom they called a series producer, and it's Mona Lisa Chisango. Um, Mona Lisa Chisango has worked, the company that she works for, they say it has produced uh, um, shows like uh, The X Factor, Essays Got Talent, Strictly Come Dancing, So You Think You Can Dance, Porn Stars, Dragon Den, Back of Four Weddings, I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here. These shows are reality shows, but they are like competition shows, like Back Off, for example, you, they bake and somebody wins the Back Off. Dragon's Den, it's a, like when you have those rich uh, <laughs> CEOs and you come and present their, your, your business idea and then they tell you if they're going to finance your business or not. Strictly Camp Dancing is about dancing talent. Uh, X Factor, it's a singing, it's, it's a singing competition show. So it's very different from Real Housewives. It's a reality show, but it's very different from Real Housewives. So Uchi Sango Kubazi, she is a series uh, a producer. And then you've got a, um, a uh, she's a series director, Uchi Sango. And then you've got a series producer. A series producer, but yeah, it's Mona Lisa. And it's Valentino Matibela. It's Valentino Matibela. When I went and I searched oh, Valentino Matibela, she she owns a company called Talent ETC. Talent ETC. When I looked at their profile in their website, it looks like they are more of an agent, like it's a it's a talent agent, and they manage talent, and I, I guess they provide talent to the to uh, production team. But here they said that she is a, a series director, of Valentino Matibela. One thing about Valentino Matibela that I thought was very interesting about her is that when I went, uh, because there was a link to the Facebook post regarding Ivuma FM interview that she had done. Apparently, in 2019, she did an interview with Vuma FM because she was advertising. There was a production that they were going to have and she was uh, advertising that someone must come for auditions and all of that. And it made me feel like she has some kind of a relationship with Vuma FM. And guys, we all know what is in Abante Bautu in this uh, cast about about Here's the thing. <laughs> well, okay, already we know. What the, maybe she must have gone to Vuma FM and met them there. Or well, she has an existing relationship with them. So she will know people that work there. But here's the thing, guys. I need to ask at all what, so what is the thing that has happened with a... Uh, Listen, this talent ETC manages the talent. Yes, I think if we can find out who manages Ola and find out who manages Umakumalu, we might find out. Umakumalu approached the management. Ola Tonto was a manager who was as tall in a seller, real housewives. Because how did they end up both of them working for Vuma FM, both of them working for Real Housewives? 
Kungenze kutu la konto just feels like kuma kuma lo follows me around where I go, she goes. <laughs> Don't you think it's a possibility? I didn't see any information that suggests that except to put this woman who is a series director for Real Housewives uh, of, of Devon did an interview with my FM a while ago, which was 2019. It's around the time when Ulokuzan uh, Ulakunko left the, the station and then Umakumalo came into the station. And Ulakunko, when she left the station, she, she came on Real Housewives of Devon. And then Umakumalo started the now nai Usengala. Sisazo investigates as it's holy gasoline. But even today, I just wonder, I think the bottom line for me when I look at these, all of these people that are working on this show and looking at their experience, they really are experienced in the <laughs> in producing TV productions. But are they experienced in the franchise of Real Housewives? I don't think so. And I think that now that is starting to show. I don't know because, for an example, if we take a franchise, yes, say KFC, any KFC, it's a US franchise. Someone will come as an Alana and train you. With, okay, this is how you're supposed to run this franchise because we have rules now saying a franchise. With, this is how you run the franchise. You can't do this. You can't do that. You have these are the rules that you have to follow. This you can change. This you can't change. So I'm not sure if Bravo does the same. Does Andy Cohen does the same with Real Housewives? Does somebody come from his company uh, to South Africa and tell them, guys, this is what you're supposed to do? This is a formula or this is the blueprint for Real Housewives. So you cannot uh, move away from these rules, uh, but this you can change uh, to accommodate the fact that the cultures are different because you're in a different country. I don't know if that happens. But if it doesn't happen, I would say that that is the reason that they have missed that part of the show when it comes to creating storylines, because it means that uh, they focused a lot on the quality of the production, but they didn't, uh, uh, they, you can say, I'm operations, <laughs> is it operations or what? Connelento Lena by Missile, that they're not seeing what they missed. They missed it even in season one, but they may, now it's become even more apparent because we are now used to these women. And since I have that the basic information, you know their name, Umawakumot, uh, Sebens, in Sespuna more, and we are not getting it because it looks like they didn't follow that blueprint. And maybe they were not given the blueprint when they got the franchise uh, from the US. So, yeah, I don't know. I want to say maybe we should forgive them for that mistake, honestly, because it's the first time that they do such a production. But I also want to say we can't forgive them, honestly, because they should have done their homework. And I don't think that when it came to how uh, storylines are created and followed for this production is done, uh, they should have done their homework. So I, part of me wants to give them a break, but part of me wants to be like, no, but... It can't be because we are already on the second season. This is the thing that I, I also think that uh, Real Housewives of Jobek didn't do so well in it. Besides the fact that in Jobek, they really didn't do a good job with casting. They, they, uh, I didn't like, <laughs> I don't, I didn't like their ensemble when it came to the casting. But also the storylines as well was just as bad as uh, Devon is becoming. So I'm hoping because I really love the idea of the show. I'm hoping that. Uh, the, the mistakes that they have made this season, they realize them and they are able to fix them in the next season. And that if all of these uh, producers are not experienced in this type of reality show, that they get somebody, even if they get somebody from overseas to come and help them out in uh, creating storylines and focusing on certain storylines for these um, cast members that they do that because we do need this show, but we can't be bored while watching Real Housewives people. Otherwise, this is a boy that's in sales bugella about Atlanta. Yes, the Real Housewives of New Jersey, Ishisaran and Jagamanch. Yes, the Shisaran and Real Housewives of New Jersey. The, the, the doctor is cheating. Who is watching New Jersey? I will. Jennifer's husband, they just found out what he cheated. You know, those are the kind of things we watched in Real Housewives. So, never was bored when I went to Mr. Peter Levan at Kamuk. <laughs> but anyway, that is my video today. I hope it was informative for you because I thought this information for me made me understand how why the show is taking the direction that it's taking. But I hope that it explains it for you as well. But you can go and look at this information online and 
maybe you will even find information that I did not uh, find. Thank you so much for watching. Please like the video before Pumayona. Share it with your friends, with your family, and even with strangers in the tongue.